Hello and good morning friends, welcome to CEC Edisit Live Lecture. Dear friends, as we promise you that every time we will try to bring for you some interesting topics, some interesting subjects and today also uh, we are going to discuss on a very, very interesting topic and the topic is power searching with Google. Doesn't it sound to be interesting? Yes, interesting and I too am very curious to uh, know how power searching is uh, done with the Google. For this, so we have a Google certified power searcher, Dr. Umesh Arya. Dr. Arya is chairman and Associate Professor in Department of Advertising Management and Public Relations, Guru Jambeshwar University of Science and Technology, Hisar. So, first of all, I would like to welcome our guest, Dr. Ramesh Arya, and uh, I hope that uh, today's session is going to be one of the most finest uh, sessions because uh, in uh, earlier sessions also, Dr. Arya has tried to give his uh, best possible and today also we are going to get something very, very interesting. So, first of all, I would like to welcome our guest, Dr. Arya. Dr. Arya, Thank welcome. You. Welcome to the Edisit lecture. Thank you, Geetha. As the uh, topic itself suggests that uh, it has something, uh, something very interesting, uh, which of course are uh, going to raise the curiosity of all the viewers, all the students who might be watching us right now. So without wasting any time, I would like to hand over uh, this lecture to you. Thank you. Hello friends, welcome to this uh, uh, discussion on the Google power searching. Uh, first of all, uh, let us try to understand what is the difference between a normal searching and the power searching, why this topic is relevant uh, for you today. Uh, well, uh, if you type anything in Google uh, without scientific method or just some random thoughts and words in the Google and it comes out uh, with certain results and then uh, we think that this is the Google uh, searching, but actually it is not so. Uh, uh, on the other hand, if you search it in a powerful way, if you apply some commands, if you apply some techniques to methodologically or scientifically enter your query in the Google and uh, then it will give you certain results, that is the power searching. So, the difference is very clear, uh, a uh, simple query, random query is uh, uh, the normal style of searching which is not good and on the other hand, if you search it with a powerful way within uh, certain commands and techniques uh, uh, which are uh, themselves suggested by Google, then it is a power searching. So friends, uh, I would like to uh, uh, recite a uh, very uh, good couplet from the famous Urdu uh, poet Mirza Ghalib. Zamane bhar ki eidon se hume kya vasta ghalib, hamara chand jik jaye, hamari eid ho jaye. Now what does it mean? Uh, Mr. Ghali is also saying that we do not need so much uh, information around the world that we are bursting with the information from different sources today, but that information is not the information we need and uh, uh, the valuable information uh, which is uh, focused, relevant to us, uh, it is in the minority and we can apply the power searching techniques to get this valuable information and sift through the information clutter. Uh, friends, uh, you must have heard about uh, the famous management expert that is Peter Drucker. Now, Peter Drucker, uh, he said that earlier leaders, they knew very well how to tell, but the future leaders, they should know how to ask. Now, this management thought if applied to the uh, Google searching, then it becomes a power searching. Like he said that we should know. Uh, how to ask Google, it has something, it has many things actually, it is a storehouse of information, both relevant information and the irrelevant one. But when we apply the Peter Drucker's thought, how to ask, then it will uh, give us the best of the results and that is uh, the Google power searching technique. Friends, uh, let us start with some uh, basic facts some, uh, about uh, Google. Uh, Google as we know that it is uh, the third most powerful brand around the world after uh, Apple and Microsoft and uh, it was established in 98 and within a period of uh, 10 to 15, uh, 12 years it has uh, become the world's most creative and the top most company and you must be knowing that global share of the Google search is around 67 62.7% uh, and these are the figures of 2014 and uh, very less share is uh, 
of uh, Baidu, that is the Chinese uh, search engine, Bing, Bing belongs to Microsoft, and the Yahoo. Uh, so uh, Google is the uh, leader in the search. And so much so that in 2006, the Oxford Dictionary included uh, the word Google as the verb or a new word in the year 2016. Uh, it tells that uh, Google is very important and we cannot ignore this. And so many uh, credits they have been attributed to the Google. And in 2014, its profit was $16 billion, which is uh, very high. It is more than the G GDP of uh, many uh, developing countries. Uh, so uh, we will discuss now why power searching is important. Why cannot uh, the normal power searching techniques uh, serve the purpose? So friends, uh, the very first point is that uh, there is a, a growing body of research which tells us that uh, people are now uh, having dissatisfaction with the uh, internet search and they are not getting that much information which uh, they think it is relevant to them and uh, uh, so they are uh, uh, seeing some alternative uh, methods of searching. And uh, there are 350 crores, that is uh, 3.5 billion of searches uh, per day on Google. This is per day. And 20% uh, of these uh, searches, they are unique. That is, they were ne never asked before. And Google servers, they have to uh, answer uh, these queries uh, like never before. So uh, it is important that 350 uh, crores uh, searches are being done from around the world and it comes out to around 40,000 searches per second. So it's important. And you know that searching is the second most widely used internet activity on the internet. Uh, first being the uh, Gmail, uh, mail checking or uh, uh, different mail servers and uh, uh, second is the internet searching. So it is important that we should search uh, uh, the search engines in a very powerful way. And uh, you know that uh, searching generates revenue for the Google. And it's not that it's a uh, kind of facility given to us, but when we enter, enter the search uh, terms in the search engine, then uh, Google uh, makes record of it and it generates uh, ads, advertisements as per our own taste. So the power searching is very important. And uh, one of the very important uh, reason that power searching is important because uh, every search in the Google releases 7 gram of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Now this is very surprising that uh, many of us they don't know that uh, uh, Google has the carbon footprint also. And we go on carelessly searching uh, terms in the Google and servers behind uh, the scene they go on working and generating heat. Uh, friends, if you uh, do two Google searches, then those two searches they are equivalent to uh, the heat generated which is uh, equal to the kettle boiling. So we should be very considerate and that's why we need the power searching technique so that our search is minimized and more relevant. And there are around 300 crores internet users around the world. Out of them, 8.3% belong to India. It means that these 300 people, they are searching the internet incessantly, regularly and continuously, daily, uh, 350 crore times. So they should be educated. They should know how to search the Google in a powerful way. And uh, Next is that we should be responsible internet user. Without good power searching techniques, we are just wasting our time. We are just wasting the computer resources and the data centers resources and we are not the responsible internet users. And it will also uh, reduce the frivolous search and waste reduction. Now see, uh, what is waste? Uh, waste is uh, defined as something which is uh, not generating any uh, positive thing, it is not generating any value. So all the random searches on the uh, Google, they are uh, like uh, the waste thing if you are not applying the power searching techniques. And the next is the technology is redefining our lives. Every part, every walk of our life is now, is now affected by 
uh, technology, whether uh, positively affected or uh, negatively affected. So, uh, when the technology is so important that we have to adopt it and we cannot run away from it. So, why not to use this technology in a socially responsible manner and for that uh, we need the power searching techniques and information overload from all the directions. Now, this is very interesting that uh, we are getting information from every quarter these days uh, from Facebook, uh, from uh, 24 hours, uh, news channels, WhatsApp, Twitter, etc. so many things. Uh, so, out of this, uh, I mean it is very, very difficult to navigate through this information clutter and we should have some power searching techniques through which we can straight away uh, go to our required information. And in the last but not the least, uh, less is more. More information cannot serve the purpose, but uh, as far as uh, uh, quantity is concerned, then you see that a uh, small um, amount of information you can use and you can reuse. So, uh, we would like to quickly discuss uh, two uh, terms here, uh, they are digital literacy and ICT literacy, because uh, different governments uh, are now, they are stressing on these two ideas that we should be uh, digitally literate and we should be IC literate. ICT means the information and communication technologies. Every one of us, irrespective of the caste, colored, creed, education, etc., they are supposed to be ICT literate. So, uh, let us see what is the definition of the digital literacy, so that uh, we can uh, get something out of these powerful searching, searching techniques. Uh, now, uh, the digital literacy says, uh, the ability to assess networked computer resources and use them. So, Paul Glister gave this definition that we should have the ability to access the uh, network information that is computers, internet and so many of them and we should have the ability to use them. Now, see uh, this definition is a very uh, good definition and if you see it has all the components related to the power searching. Unless we know uh, how to use those resources and unless we have the access in the first place, access to the right kind of information, we are not going to be digital literate. And very quickly if you jump over to the ICT literacy, uh, if you see the definition then it says, uh, using digital technology, communication tools and or networks to assess, manage, integrate information in order to function in a knowledge society. So, now see uh, every definition is talking about the access management, integrity of uh, integrated uh, the information in order to function in a knowledge society. So, the crux of these two definition is that we should be having the access and we should have, have the capability of using those information resources. So, uh, this was a uh, basic uh, theoretical background as far as uh, Google power searching techniques are concerned. Uh, henceforth, the presentation would be uh, more uh, screen based and internet based where we would be uh, seeing the real stuff in action that we would be discussing some of the power searching commands and by using these power searching commands how we can access to our right kind of information. So, first of all is define. So, you know uh, this uh, definition uh, define inform, uh, command is very important and uh, the explanation is that it is helpful to know the definition of a particular term. If we jump over to the search engine then if we type define and technology, then it gives us uh, so many results. But if you notice this box, it gives you the definition of the technology and there are more than uh, one definitions and you can select these definitions as per your own choice. Uh, if you 
click this Technology. then it uh, pronounce you the pronounce the words for you also and these are the different links related to the technology so first of all this uh, defined uh, term define command is used to know the definition of some particular term and the second application of uh, this google power searching command is that we want to know the meaning of a particular word it can tell you that also for example if you type the word perquisite then it tells you the meaning of uh, this word and a sentence of the uses of that word and again if you want to click that Perquisite. then it can tell you the pronunciation also so this is very small command as far as uh, power searching is concerned but see how effective it is so we don't have to grow up in the dark or we don't have to run from pillar to post uh, to find the meaning of a particular term or to find the definition of uh, some research term friends it is uh, uh, not important to learn the commands but it is equally important to know the application of these commands like this the, uh, this command has got uh, another application for the researcher that uh, in research you know that it is very important to define something define the research objectives and uh, you have to you know find out many definitions so uh, if you go to the google power searching command define and you type the word after it it will give you so many definitions and researchers they can get this definition and select the best out of these definitions and they can quote uh, them in their research so uh, it is going to increase their efficiency if you go to the second command second command is like it is very simple uh, but it is yet scientific like if if you uh, enter few words knowledge power technology minority empowerment etc then it will search them for example if you enter power knowledge empowerment technology media majority so what google will do is that it will search all the documents on the internet which are having these words in them for example you can see these keywords are highlighted here and it is searching the whole of the cyberspace for these particular words and you can go on adding those words so now you are limiting your information to these keywords and the documents which have these keywords so it has also got some meaning like what is the application of uh, this command this command narrows down your uh, quest for the information like you are not you are specifying as if you are giving a command to your secretary that please bring out the documents which have these kind of keywords in them so it's very good and if you further go and if you type or and if you write rigst or women so it will give you some different results like this one if you can see the screen then uh, you will find that uh, it has majority or right or women what does it mean that you are asking google to bring documents relating to uh, these words or the word right or the word women so as you can see that the number of results they have gone very high because you are giving them the option that whenever you use this or command then your options they increase so uh, this way you can further refine your uh, research and if you further go down 
and you see if you want to find information about a particular website then what is the uh, command uh, if you copy this if you want to find the information about the CEC then you enter this in the field and it will have the results like this and what is this uh, now you can see that it has uh, only a single uh, result one result and it is about the CEC only and you see uh, there are different options now show Google's cache of CEC. Now, CACHE uh, this cache means that uh, if you want to see an archived version of the CEC web, uh, website then it can tell you and uh, you can find the similar web pages that are similar to CEC. You can also uh, access uh, them here and find web pages that link to CEC. Some of the websites they have placed their, uh, the links of uh, CEC in their uh, uh, web pages. So, you can find them here also. And find web pages that is contain term CEC and IC in. So, see a whole gamut of the information here you can find once you enter this command that is info colon www.cec.nic.in. Now, see immediately our uh, knowledge about a particular uh, topic is increased manifold if we apply this kind of technique. Uh, if you further discuss these techniques then uh, one very good command is the double quotes and what is that? It is used to find the exactly matching sequence of words. Now, what does it mean? If you uh, enter two or uh, more than uh, one word uh, flanked by the double quotes then you will get the results like this for example if we copy and paste here so you see okay and uh, let's go back and copy here and then if we paste it and then press enter so we'll get 22000 results now we have to scientifically understand this uh, when we search with the double quotes, then it will search all the documents on the internet which are having the word technological empowerment in a sequence. And it, if you do not use these double quotes, for example, we are used to searching uh, like this that we just enter technological empowerment and see it will bring out so many results. You cannot uh, visit these all the links in your lifetime right because what Google does it will search technological and empowerment word as a different entity like if you go to the link fifth then uh, you will find that it is bringing all the documents which are having the word technological as well as empowerment see empowerment is used as a separate word here and technology is so, these kind of uh, unnecessary links are there. So, if you want to reduce them just use the double quotes command and then you see your results are only 22000. So, uh, friends what is the application of this command? As I told you that uh, it is uh, good to learn the command, but it is equally good to uh, find the different application of the command first application of the command is that you will get your precise result you will not get the unnecessary kind of stuff the second very good uh, application of this command is that uh, now with the rise in the information sources people are uh, developing the habit of plagiarism that is they copy the stuff from internet and they paste it into their assignments and they submit it to the school authorities or the uh, college thesis uh, this plagiarism is a academic crime as we all know it. So, uh, 
if uh, some students are there watching this presentation then they should be uh, aware that now it's very important it's very easy uh, to find your uh, academic uh, uh, cheating kind of thing if your teacher enters uh, the suspicious sentence in a sequence of words in a double quote then immediately uh, the google will tell you that where these commands uh, where these uh, uh, stuffs are uh, copied from right so it's not uh, uh, right to uh, plagiarize and you can easily be caught so for the teachers it's very good command if you enter a particular sentence in a sequence of events in the double quotes then it will bring all the links from the internet and you can easily find out whether the student has done cheating or not so uh, be careful about this and uh, no need to buy expensive softwares to uh, you know detect plagiarism google command can do it for you so this is double quotes uh, if we move to the uh, next one types of files pdf doc xml etc now friends uh, what is this command this is file type colon pdf and then type the query uh, let me uh, share you something about this uh, if you want to have information which is relevant to us then we have to apply a lot of filters at various stages so one filter was that in the double quotes we can search the second filter can be that we have to find the documents relating to some particular file format for example pdf file format is very well known around the world that it has got some serious documents because pdf files uh, they cannot be changed and uh, they have the document as such whereas other documents like doc file xml file text file they can be changed so all the research publications quality material government of uh, india's reports commission reports whatever policy documents you will see that they are all in the pdf format so now we have to apply the second filter here that we want to search the documents as per their file name so if we type this command on the screen that is file type pdf so just see it will give us very small results 2 lakh 10000 and you can see that uh, the command is very simple file type colon pdf and communication technology so uh, please take care that they, uh, there should not be any space here as far as this command is concerned and there should be a space as far as the query is concerned now see uh, all the files are pdf now because we have entered the pdf file here this one is the pdf all these documents they are pdf documents and 2 lakh 10000 links are there so friends uh, as you can see that uh, these uh, links they are still not relevant because we have committed a mistake mistake is what we haven't put the double quotes around communication technology if we do that then see only 4 lakhs 60,000 documents now uh, these all these documents they have they are in the PDF format you can see and they have the word communication technology in a sequence so see we have applied two stage filter now first is the file type and another is the double quotes if you change this if you change the PDF to the doc file like doc or docx whatever the case may be then you see the results are further reduced to 17000 only okay so all of these are uh, okay let us uh, reframe this this is file type doc communication technology let's again enter this and okay uh, i think uh, some issue is there because it is showing the pdf uh, file but uh, please be sure this is the command and uh, given the right kind of settings uh, and the 
uh, quality of the uh, search engine, it will run the query in a very scientific way. So, this is you can change the file type here and search the Google according to your own way. So, uh, this command is very important for the researchers because as you know that the research publications they are mostly in the PDF format and uh, uh, by applying this filter you can have access to them. If you go to the next command, so now some re really serious stuff uh, comes into picture that if you want to search information within a website. So, we do not want uh, you know uh, search results from around the world from different servers, different websites, no. Our search query is very clear that we want to search a particular website. For example, we want to search CEC that is uh, CEC's website for the word research. So, if we copy this and if we paste this in the you can uh, see the screen this is the command site colon www.cc.nic in so we have specified the website that we want to search inside this website only and we want to search for this word that is research so, it tells me that there are around 5 results only and this is the right kind of information we are looking for. So, research word is highlighted in the document. So, unnecessary stuff is reduced, right. So, this command is very important for the media students. For example, they can enter the name of any newspaper like I have done the hindu.com and I want to search hindu for the news related to murder and uh, molestation and uh, robbery and theft ok. Then it tells me that there are around 522 results only. What I mean to say is that 522 results are those results in which murder, molestation, robbery and theft they are included. So, there are 522 news items on the Hindus online edition. So, it is very easy to now uh, find the data for research and the mass communication researchers they can take the printout of these 522 uh, news items and they can do their qualitative analysis. So, you can change the name of the website as per your own convenience and change the keywords here and then you can conduct the research as per your own requirement. Okay, if we further go down, then you see that uh, uh, enhancing the option of the words, option of the words is what we what I mean to say is uh, that uh, when we enter the name of the website that is hindu.com, we enter women and a small uh, a small sign that is tilde, t i l d e ok and uh, if I show you uh, and copy it here ok. Now, see I explain the command once again you enter site hindu.com search the news items which have the word women and search the different forms of robbing for example, robbed, robber, robbing, rob. So, it will search the different forms of the verb rob. If you place tilde before this like if you search this there, there are only 17 results right. You see that robbery is the word, robbing is the word. So, this way you are not omitting or you are not deleting any meaningful uh, word from your search. 
as it is very difficult you know that sometimes when we enter the different words in uh, Google, then what it does that uh, it searches for a uh, few words and it lefts out something. For example, when we are searching the Hindustan Times website for the news on robbery, then if you just enter the word robbery, then it will leave out the robber, robbing, rob, etc. Right. So, uh, by using this tilde, you can search the various form of robbing. It is very important because you cannot go on entering the words in the uh, dialog box here because there is a limit to it that you can enter only 2000 characters. This is one character. So, robbing has got around uh, 7 characters. So, uh, 2000 characters is the limit. So, by using this small tilde, you can uh, solve this problem. Okay. And uh, if we jump to the next command, then it is very good one like filling the finding the gap fillers. Now, what is this gap? I uh, will explain. Uh, like if we have written information and then uh, the star and then technology. If we enter the uh, search term in Google, then what it will tell? It will fill the gap between the information and the technology. For example, it will write information and communication technology or information and computing technology. It will find all the related stuff between these two words. Okay. So, let us do some practical and copy and paste in the uh, website. Okay. So, it is telling me uh, so many of the results uh, which are even you know we cannot count. Now, you see information systems information technology. So, it has auto filled the word system here between information and the technology and you see uh, it has what it has done that information security technology. So, security word it comes here and in some of the links you will get that uh, there is a word information and communication technology. Okay. And like uh, if you see here information about technology. So, like uh, uh, have you understand have you understood this because it is very clear that you know it is filling the gap for you between two words and it is a very simple command like just enter the star between two words. So, it is very good and you can find the different variant of the words. Uh, friends, now we are uh, learning uh, the different commands and uh, many more are uh, here to come. Up till now, we are learning 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 commands like and when you come to a stage when you are able to combine these commands, like if you enter like this file type dot pdf name of the website and query name and the word and the word or the word. So, then it will give you the relevant information because that, rele that, that uh, relevant information is passed through so many filters and whenever something passes through the filters then it gives you a whole focused kind of the result. right? Okay. If we go further uh, on the commands then search in the URL. If you want to search some word in the URL that is address of the website. So, this is the one like if I copy and paste here. So, you see it will have 4,95,000 results. Again, uh, we normally commit this mistake that we do not put double quotes around uh, more than two words and Okay, so it tells that sometimes uh, Google search engine can misbehave depending upon various circumstances that you have not typed the right kind of the command or you have put the unnecessary space. So please don't uh, worry about that because sometimes the systems they behave like this, and it is a very good command. And 
this is the one and it will definitely run i think some issue has uh, come up yeah okay so 92600 see there was a space between the colon and the double quote okay 92600 now uh, in url you will find the words new media or if you are not satisfied with the results just change it and you will find definitely find uh, your right one because google also keeps uh, changing the commands like uh, it will notify you uh, sometimes but sometimes not and there are different variants to the same command so it keeps going on uh, so you see that there is the word new media in the url url means the uniform resource locator that is uh, in the simple terms it is the name of the website so uh, this is very simple command and many of you uh, must be you know thinking that uh, they may not be any use to it but i tell you for the media researchers and the social science researchers if new media word is appearing in the url it means the whole document whole web page belongs to the new media it carries a meaning for you it means that is the document which is needed for the research purpose and we cannot take uh, this command very lightly and you know uh, some of the commands uh, they are very good as far as uh, electronics field is concerned some of the commands they are more relevant in the social sciences but yes our creativity lies in the fact that we are able to use that command independent of our subject and the stream so i have repeatedly said that first learn commands and then use them have a multiple use of it and the use depends upon the different fields and combine the commands in a creative fashion there is no uh, limit that you cannot uh, combine the commands like if file type pdf uh, and uh, name of the you know uh, double quotes command communication technology then or and so there is no limit to it you can go on and like file type pdf you can put this string in the in the last of the query also or anywhere in the uh, query so that's not a problem you just combine those commands but just uh, be aware that different sequencing of the commands can give you sometimes different results so you have to see now that what is best according to your own practice so if we uh, further discuss the things so yeah this is the one finding websites who have placed our links sometimes the popularity of our website is known by the uh, number of websites which have placed our websites link on their web pages so if i go to uh, the command and i copy it and i paste it in the search bar here and this is gjvst that is the name of my university guru jambeshwar university of science and technology and i press enter then see i have these 40 results it tells me that uh, these 40 Uh, web pages they have link back to my website my university's website so in the plain terms it tells you the popularity of your website uh, it's as simple as that and uh, okay if we yeah the next one is yes related sites to our query yeah friends sometimes we are not able to uh, find different website different resources relating to our query for example uh, if we know a particular website then it's very difficult to know the other websites relating to the field of this website for example uh, if you enter uh, the word related and then colon and then the name of the website if you can see the screen then uh, i copy this and i place it in the bar and the command is related the so colon gjust.ac in now see you don't have to put even www 
it is very simple. So, so it tells me that there are around 49 results like Haryana Agriculture University, this university belongs to Hisar and my university is also uh, situated in Hisar. Uh, like Maharishi Dayanan University, Rotak, official website of Calicut University, Deen Bandhu Choturam. So, these 49 links, they are related to my type of query, that is my university. So, some of the universities belong to Haryana, some of them are technical. So, this way, uh, we are not only searching a particular website, we are searching a whole group of the websites around this particular website. So, uh, the use depends upon the uh, user and uh, further scrolling down, uh, if you want to find the word in the proximity like, uh, if I tell you uh, that, uh, okay, if you uh, can see the screen, so this is the query, query is that we want to find the word in the proximity. Proximity means that uh, the words near to some other word. For example, the explanation is that I want to search, uh, search the internet through Google for the documents which have the word women and in and around women within the proximity of two words within the distance of two words right and two words left, there should be the word corruption. I think this is very clear. So, if I press enter then you see there are four results that women and corruption. See it is, uh, this word corruption is situated uh, at a distance less than the two words, right. So, in all these four documents, the corruption word is situated so closely to the women that it is in the distance of two words right or two words left. If you increase the distance of the words like if you enter 6, then you see the number of instances, number of results they increase so much and you can go on increasing as per your own search query. So friends, it is just like a uh, you know magical command you can say and you will be surprised to know that every command somehow it has given uh, birth to some new dimension in the academics. For example, if I talk about this command that is around, around has to be a, in the capital letters because, because it is a boolean operator and no compromise can be done on that, there should not be any gap uh, between the brackets and around. Uh, so, these are some of the things. But coming back to the importance of this command, uh, in the languages, in the li linguistics area, there is a very good technological application and that is known as the corpus linguistics. Now corpus linguistics is what? Corpus linguistics is that we are searching a whole corpora, corpora means the uh, collection of huge volume of the words. So, we are having a corpora of the all the news, uh, newspapers uh, for the last 200 years. So, there is a huge volume of the words in the form of news stories for these newspapers and it is very difficult or rather impossible to manually sift through these uh, words and find the qualitative information or find the relevant information as per our research objective. So, with the help of this command, you have a control over the qualitative information on the text and corpus linguistics is nothing but this branch only. With the help of this command, uh, a new uh, Lancashire prof University professor, he found that Muslims uh, around the world, they have been misrepresented since ages that they have been branded as terrorists, they have been branded as uh, problem creators, so many of the wrong impressions. And this research was not possible without uh, the commands like this because it immediately tells you the qualitative aspect of the information and as per your coding scheme, you can develop your own research. 
findings. So uh, this is not a very you know small uh, small command. Uh, it depends that what use uh, you put it to. Okay. If you go further, uh, then okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, friends uh, there are few commands uh, and uh, i think uh, uh, it is it is not possible to cover them all in one lecture and uh, maybe uh, we can have uh, another session on it but uh, we have discussed around uh, 10 to uh, 12 commands like this and uh, i think they are sufficient as far as uh, one hour is concerned and uh, it is expected out of you that you kindly make multiple use of these commands and merge these commands as I told you that you can uh, uh, merge these commands and running on a quick note because we are you know coming to the close of this uh, uh, well okay if you can see the screen then we will uh, run a highly complex command like site is hindustantimes.com and we are searching the word technology and empowerment and women around 5 computer again and internet or cyber and computer minus metro minus metro is the command that we do not want to have the documents we have uh, which have the word metro in them ok. If we put this command in the search box then it will search uh, the web in a very nice way that it will uh, bring all the results related to it and ok the Google servers they are highly stressed so sometimes uh, there is a uh, time lag also so be patient and sometimes they can you know give the wrong information also but that is that happens once in a blue moon it does not happen uh, very often. Now see this was a highly complex command highly complex and it has resulted in 44 results and it tells you that name of the website is this Hindustan Times uh, they are the uh, news items as per this keywords and there are 5 I mean we want to search the computer word around in and around 5 uh, words of the word women and in the last you must have noticed that I have put minus before the word metro it means I want to delete the metro word from all these results so see you will not find the metro word in these 44 results as a result your query is you know picture perfect and you can combine these queries but just be aware that if you put a uh, wrong query or you put a slight mistake like you have placed uh, uh, the, the space uh, between two uh, where it was not required then it will not give the right results but if you uh, repeatedly practice these commands and I think uh, most of these commands uh, they can serve your purpose. Huh? Uh, with this note thank you sir, thank you so very much uh, as you explained us in details the various techni uh, technicalities uh, while dealing with this searching. As you yourself said uh, that if a proper command is not uh, given then we would not be getting the desired result. Sometimes we have seen that uh, uh, despite of trying uh, for a number of times uh, what we are actually trying to search we are unable to get through the uh, links. So uh, should we keep that particular thing in mind a particular that word in mind what we are actually searching for? Yeah, yes and sometimes you know uh, uh, there are many aspects of the searching like proper word you have to search. If you are not sure about the proper word then what you can do is that you can put tilde as I told you before the uh, word so that it can search all the variants related to that word uh, if you are not sure about the particular word. But you know sometimes the computers uh, and the systems and the networks they fail here only that uh, see these are the mechanical operators they cannot judge the query from our own side. It is we as a researcher that we have to have a command over these words and then we have to search these words as per our own query. Sometimes you have to uh, change the words also so, uh, by taking the help of the dictionary and the context because sometimes you know uh, we are used to 
the synonyms and antonyms but no word in english is synonym and uh, no word is in uh, you know antonym uh, condition so these kind of things we have to take uh, care and uh, because we are the master of our own query when while applying the different commands in a sequence we should take care that with every command in place the meaning of the query will change if you put or and then another word it means your query is changed and if you put the word and after the or then it means the query is altogether changed so it is as per our own you know research goals and just a plain mix of you know judgment and the common sense will do the things exactly what we actually want is uh, all what is in our mind and the mind of um, human uh, when um, meets with the uh, we could say the artificial intelligence we would get the desired result uh, this was the condition with the words now i wish to like uh, to know through you that um, uh, using symbols while searching uh, is it appropriate or not okay uh, symbol you mean to symbol, say symbol i mean uh, to say question marks or sometimes hash we use or uh, no. colons we use uh, no uh, let me tell you something on this because uh, many of uh, uh, us they commit this mistakes because uh, i tell you these commands uh, they are uh, told to us by google only because it's their servers they know uh, you know how their programming is done and how they will give you the best of results right uh, you cannot manually search uh, something out of your own you know whims and fancies like you cannot put the word a and d in small caps because it will not recognize it is it, it was a actually uh, google power searching course that we did and uh, we were taught these commands that nothing from our side sh- should go into the system because in that it will take is as a word not as a command if you put a and d small it will be treated as a simple word not the command right so these kind of things and uh, there are if you search the net for the google power searching commands then you will find so many commands and you can take the print out and just practice these commands because unless you practice then you will not be able to use them and it is always better i repeatedly say in all my lectures uh, that we should learn one command and practice it four times in different situations different circumstances for different people only then you can call yourself as an ict literate or the digitally literate you have raised a very very important note over here because many times we have seen that uh, some people are so skilled in searching that within minutes within seconds they tend to get what they are actually searching for and uh, as well as i like to tell you all that uh, throughout um, the lecture uh, dr arya explained all the magical commands with the help of which uh, you can search very easily he also stressed on the point that uh, if you are working on your research work uh, better be cautious because if you are tam- tempering or if you are mishandling your research work or copying some from somewhere else you would be caught very easily yeah. uh, because of this searching technique and dr arya would be again with us tomorrow and uh, we would be learning more through him about more uh, searching techniques uh, so that you could be equipped you could become more capable of uh, uh, searching and uh, handling the technology thank you sir thank you so very much for being thank the part you. of the elucid lecture thank you thank you, thank you. Thank you.